Now, the renowned philosopher Achille Mbembe has a reputation for changing and challenging how we are living our lives. The way the world is more and more driven by market economics, capitalist economies and where technology and digitization is taking us. In his latest book, The Earthly Community, Ashi looks at the way we're living, the way we're coexisting with nature and the ecosystem and how humans have perhaps lost a sense of solidarity with all other living things. The Cameroonian philosopher also writes about the possibility for a last utopia. And well, we touch upon these themes today for our perspective. And Ashil Mbembe joins me on the programme. Good morning to you. Good morning. Give us a sense of the journey that you're taking us on. The journey is very simple and straightforward. Uh, we have reached an imp, uh, a dead end. Uh, when I say we, I mean we humans uh, in cohabitation with uh, uh, the totality of uh, the living. We have reached a dead end uh, because uh, of uh, the way in which we have related to uh, other forms of life on this planet Earth. The time has come to imagine uh, different ways of inhabiting uh, the Earth. And uh, in the book uh, you refer to, I draw extensively on African wisdom and modes of thought uh, which uh, for a very long uh, period of uh, our life on Earth have helped precisely to, uh, let's say, uh, uh, live in biosymbiosis uh, uh, with uh, uh, all the inhabitants of uh, this small planet. So it's a sense of we're living every day, as, as we read in your book, of these factors perhaps we're not even aware of, the, driven by the economic markets. You know, we're getting into a technology where soon we'll be looking at the likes of chat GPT and things also thinking for us in a sense. And perhaps you're telling us to reflect a little bit about where this is taking us with our wider sense of who we are and what we're living amongst. Definitely. Uh, we have to do that. Uh, there is an urgency to, to, to pose and uh, uh, revisit those uh, questions because what is precisely at stake is the future of life on Earth. Uh, it's the habitability of, uh, of the planet as such. And uh, uh, we will, uh, the planet will become sustainable, uh, hospitable to life, if we are able, first of all, to share it as equitably as possible. And secondly, uh, if we are able to repair it uh, because it has been so, so much uh, damaged. And you use the phrase that we have a possibility of a last utopia. What do you mean? The last utopia, uh, the utopia before uh, the final end. Uh, the last utopia is to rise above uh, uh, the politics of identity, the politics of, of difference, and to reinvent uh, something in common and that uh, opens up a space for what I call in the book uh, possibility of biosymbiosis, meaning the sharing of life among uh, the many different uh, 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 creatures that inhabit these, these Earth. People watching this might think, he makes a good point, but what on Earth can we do about it? What, what is the reality that we can look at and say, how can we be hopeful here? I'm sure that if we look into uh, the everyday struggles, uh, communities and uh, people are involved in uh, some of the most inhospitable places on earth, mostly in the global south. There are examples, uh, concrete ones, uh, which show precisely how people begin to repair uh, the uh, milieus of life, how they relate to uh, questions like water, access to water, access to housing, how little by little, uh, they, they access this right, which I call the universal right to breathe, without which, uh, of course, life uh, becomes even impossible to think of. In writing this and going through the journey, this is the third in a, in a trilogy that's taken more than a decade of work. Does it fill you with despair or hope? No, 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 no. In Africa, we, we are forbidden to, to despair uh, about anything. Uh, the, Africa is the... the the continent of resilience, uh, because we, has, we have seen a lot, uh, and, and yet we are still here. Uh, this gives uh, us the foundation to uh, uh, imagine, uh, but also to work 
uh, in order to be there tomorrow. Uh, so there is no space for, for, for despair uh, and catastrophe. Uh, there is space for, for more work, uh, more labor, uh, intensive labor, but labor based on uh, an everyday basis. Uh, uh, it seems to me that that is the, the way to, uh, to, to go about this. But is this something that's bigger than us, as in us being on an everyday level, you know, going to work, living our daily lives? This is something that a government level perhaps need to look at, look at more closely. Or can we do something? We can do something. Uh, people are doing something. Uh, as I'm saying, we wouldn't be here today if nothing was done. Uh, so we need to uh, sharpen our eyes, uh, sharpen uh, our capacities of listening and, and, and see, uh, give visibility to what actually is going on in, in the, the most remote corners of, of, of our societies and, and draw from, from that energy in order to reimagine what a political community is all about and, and what the earthly community might, might look like uh, indeed. Achille Mbembe, thank you for being our guest on Perspective this morning. That's thank the, La Communauté. Thank you very much. Terrestre, the earthly community, the third in his trilogy out now.